Hi, today we're interviewing Agustin Benito about his keynote at the Linux conference in Prague. Okay, I'm Agustin Benito. Uh, I work for SUSE uh, as an OpenSUSE team lead, which means that I somehow coordinate the resources, most of the resources that SUSE put in OpenSUSE, not all of them, because they are too much, <laughs> too many. And uh, I'm from the Canary Islands, Spain. Uh, I work in Germany now. Um, and also, I have uh, some uh, professional background as entrepreneur and manager, project manager, program manager, and also as a community ma uh, background, probably most of the people know me because I'm involved in KDE. What can we expect uh, at the Linux event in Prague? Okay, in terms of contents, in terms of talks, this is a huge event. We have something like seven or eight tracks in a row. We have not just the four tracks we have on, on Saturday and Sunday, but we also have several other meetings, different groups uh, organizing uh, activities during the event. We have booths. So in terms of contents, it's a really, really big event. Um, so it's complex. That provides also a lot of choices and we definitely have really good speakers uh, in, in all of the areas, in the technical part, but also we have a few really good talks, really good speakers that are uh, going to uh, deliver uh, really nice conferences uh, oriented to non-technical audience. So even if you are not a developer, even if you are not in, really involved in free software, but you are worried about uh, technology or you are excited about technology, how it changes, how it affects society, how it affects some of our rights. If you are curious about cool projects that not just from the technical perspective, but also from other perspective, we have room for you in the conference. We have an offer for you in the conference and definitely if you are a techie, if you are a geek, if you are a free software developer or you are interested in, 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 in different software technologies, you will have plenty of uh, offers here. Even if you are not a, an OpenSUSE user or developer or a Gen2 contributor or uh, really involved in, 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 in GNU Linux, you have plenty of interesting talks. We also gonna have some contents business friendly. So if you are a manager or you are planning to uh, buy or or you're interested on, on more on the more more on the commercial side of the technology, we also have contents for you. We have parties, of course. The community event without uh, cool parties is not a community event, and uh, I think we. We have a really, really complete uh, event for different kind of audiences. So we are expecting a lot of good energy, a lot of attendance. So attendees, sorry. Thank you. So what will be the subject of the keynote? The keynote presentation uh, goes about or tries to um, make people aware of how important already are, but especially uh, might become the small companies for community projects in general, but especially for distributions like uh, OpenSUSE or like Gentoo, who are uh, the, two, the two ones in, uh, really involved in this event. Um, so I will try to make people think about uh, small companies as a target and how beneficial they could become for us in some areas. So you argue that small businesses are important for the success of Linux. How do you see the future of SUSE and OpenSUSE in that regard? Well, SUSE has been going through changes, especially since the attachment acquisition of Novell. Uh, we are 
we are doing really good in the in the business and commercial part. We are growing, and we are in a good position of support, even more than we have done done in the past, which was a lot. Open source project. Uh, this means that uh, we are in that good times are coming. We are making the internal changes to be able to support even more and in a more efficient way to open SUSE. And uh, I think for during the following year we will see many good things happening in open SUSE. Uh, not just because of this increase of support but also because uh, the open SUSE community has uh, some strength that we can uh, take advantage of to make some steps forward and, uh, yeah, and, and, and place ourselves in a much better position than we are right now, uh, especially in, 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 some, in some important areas. So, uh, well, as an OpenSUSE team lead, uh, I think we are going to see some exciting, exciting moments in the near future. We are really, really happy about those in, in, in SUSE. We feel that we have a lot to add to the, to the project and the project itself is going to be, uh, we're going to have a lot of good energy in the near future. So uh, yeah, that's, that's probably the, the, it's probably not clear now because we are still in the working in a lot inbound, but it will be clear that during the following year. Okay, a bright and interesting future. Now, why would people want to be involved with this and free software in general? Okay, for somebody that is young, somebody that is starting or want to become a developer, one of the first things that he has to understand, in my opinion, is that uh, the only limitation to learn and to become uh, a good professional the only limitation that uh, this person should face is how strong, how much he works. And there are, in, in, there are other, many other limitations when you want to become a, a good professional, a good software developer. Most of those limitations are, uh, has nothing to do with how much he can learn, how much he can uh, improve. It has to do with uh, uh, barriers imposed by by third parties, by others. The free software, what can provide you is the information you need to make sure that the only limitation you find out in your life it's your own effort. That you can get to wherever you want. Because all the tools, all the information, all the people that you need to, to that you need to help you in the in the in the way of becoming a professional uh, are viable. So I think choosing free software as as the base for your professional career is a smart move if you want to become a really good developer. Uh, so you make sure that you are the only uh, barrier. So all the limitations are inside of you, not outside of you. Uh, I think it's a smart move. Simply, it's not because it's better or it's worse or it's... No, it simply is a smart decision. That concludes our interview with Augustine. If you want to learn more about free software, join us at Linux Event in Prague on October 20 to 23 and check our website at bootstrapping-awesome.org. Thank you for watching.